Well, good morning and welcome to a crisp January day in West Virginia. Uh, we're so glad that you're able to come out and join us. Uh, there's some seats here available for those who would like to sit down uh, for this major announcement uh, this morning uh, after a long and successful recruiting effort for the leading manufacturer of purpose-built battery-powered transportation products, Green Power has selected West Virginia as a location to manufacture this beautiful bus behind me now, and uh, they will be locating in South Charleston, West Virginia, and we're here today to welcome Green Power as a new corporate citizen to West Virginia. Let's give them a round of applause. We are so glad, and I think it's very important for those in the legislature and all those uh, uh, dignitaries and uh, citizens gathered here today to know that Green Power uh, put forth an extensive uh, evaluation of various locations throughout the East, in fact, every location in the East Coast. And West Virginia, because of the efforts that you've uh, put forth here and the changes that you've made in our state and the manner in which we presented uh, the state of West Virginia to Green Power, they selected this state to be with you uh, and uh, to grow and uh, have a wonderful career in West Virginia. And I would be remiss if I didn't say how much the governor of West Virginia has had an influence on this decision-making process. Governor Justice has done an amazing job in helping to recruit this company and to make West Virginia the best place in America to live, work, raise a family, and start and expand a business. And I hope you join me this morning in offering your prayers uh, for a quick and speedy recovery for our governor and for all those who have been affected by the COVID uh, pandemic. And so our hearts and our minds and our thoughts and our prayers go out to them. One of the people that has been so instrumental in helping the resurgence of West Virginia and the, uh, uh, the business climate in our state and making government run efficiently on this beautiful January day is the governor's chief of staff. So if you would join me in welcoming uh, what I consider to be the best chief of staff uh, in any state in America, our own Brian Abraham. Brian? <laughs> It's a privilege to be here today, to Brendan, to see you again and welcome you to West Virginia. But, but to be honest, it's a privilege that I don't want. Uh, I'm standing up here because the governor couldn't be with you today. And, and quite frankly, uh, I can't feel his shoes. I mean, they're really big shoes, but uh, I can't find the words to do justice to the passion that, that the governor brings to attracting businesses to our state. And, and he was really enthused to get you here because not only is it another publicly traded company that's coming to our state going to create these hundreds of jobs right here in the Canal Valley that we know we need, it sets a new image for West Virginia that companies like yours want to come here and do business in West Virginia. So uh, on behalf of the governor, welcome. Uh, we are going to be a true partner to you as we have been. And I know this governor it not only has that passion for business, but he's worked hard with these legislators to turn our state around, and it's really happening, and this is just the first of many announcements today of a new day in West Virginia. So again, appreciate you. Thank you, Brian, uh, because after the uh, announcements are made and so forth, the real hard work begins, and uh, Brian will be a great partner for us uh, as we welcome Green Power to West Virginia. Also, the leadership in our legislature, and we have so many wonderful delegates and senators here this morning with us. Thank you for being here. And uh, I would call upon uh, our, again, in my view, the best speaker of the House in any state in America, <laughs> our own speaker, Roger Hanshaw. Roger, if you would come and say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Friends, good morning. Welcome to West Virginia. You know, for decades now, the story about the economy of West Virginia has been that we're a lagging economy, that we're an economy based on antiquated technology that needs to find itself. And we're here today to announce that we have found ourselves. We have found a new economy in West Virginia. And it's been a privilege and a pleasure to work with Governor Justice, with the executive branch, with the Department of Economic Development, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Tourism, 
all of our colleagues in the legislature in both chambers, the House and the Senate, in, in really doubling down economic development over the past five or so years. We have, we have recognized that a new economy matters, and it matters beginning right here in West Virginia. We are, we are tickled to death to welcome today Green Power to Charleston, West Virginia. Brendan, we are delighted to have you here, and, and not, not just because of the jobs and economic investment opportunity that you directly represent, but because of what green power means to West Virginia in the face of the rest of America, in the face of the rest of the world. Green power's location here in Charleston, in South Charleston, West Virginia, signals to the rest of the world that we are, in fact, a 21st century economy, and we're proud of that. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to be here on this, this grounds with Brendan and get to actually spend a few minutes in the cab of, of the cargo van next door, and I was impressed by it. And I actually, after a few minutes, asked Brendan if I could start it. And he was very gracious and smiled and said, well, Mr. Speaker, it's been running the whole time. <laughs> in fact, they're all running now. They're all running now. We are welcoming a 21st century business to a 21st century economy in West Virginia. I am pleased that Brendan, you and your colleagues in Green Power have chosen West Virginia, and I'm thankful to have so many colleagues here this morning who've helped make it happen. I was wondering if he would tell the story about uh, the vehicles are running or not. That was a great moment. And uh, also leader of our uh, state Senate, my great friend uh, for many years, uh, who is actually so well qualified to speak on this issue because he is a master electrician. And so when you think about this battery-powered evolution of the transportation network and his passion for leading West Virginia in a new direction for a future economy, uh, I would like to welcome to the podium the President of the Senate, the Lieutenant Governor of West Virginia, my great friend, a fantastic representative, Craig Blair. So happy to be here. I'm doing that for somebody out here. And by the way, did you notice that he didn't say that I was the best I'm lieutenant the governor? Did you notice that he didn't say that? Green Power, thank you for coming to the state of West Virginia. We've been working for decades on getting our state right for this moment, this moment for you to be here. It's not just about the jobs, as the speaker said. This is about the image of West Virginia. The image of West Virginia where you want to bring your family and, and raise your family, educate them here, and ride an electric school bus on the way to school. We, we got to talk it out. I'm a little bit of hard of hearing. And uh, when I was on the bus yesterday, there's no road noise. So it's a lot quieter in, in, in the truck compared to where, or in the bus what it used to be. That's pretty cool. Uh, and people don't take that into account, but the stress on the driver from all that noise. How many people remember how loud that bus was when we were kids and all of us going crazy on there? That'll change the dynamics on that. But getting back to it, you wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be for the good work that this legislature has done over the years. Whether it be workers' comp and unemployment, the governor on unemployment this year. Is that you're going to see a reduction in the premiums that are, are paid for that. This is a big deal. It's a big deal for all of us out here in this state that you're located here, and yes, there's others, but there's going to be more. And the more companies that locate in this state like yours, the more buses you'll be selling because the more babies that we're going to be having in this state and, and, and opportunities to educate. I, you laugh at me. Watch and see. Over the next 10 years, there'll be over 400,000 new people living in this state. And you're helping us get there. Thank you. Can't thank you enough. And if you see something in this state that has slowed down your ability to operate, we want to know. The governor's office, the speaker, and myself, we want to know. Because if there's a roadblock, We'll take that roadblock down. That's West Virginia. And you picked the best place in the whole world for us, I'm concerned. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he told me to convey that he's the second best Senate president ever in West Virginia. <laughs> 
Actually, he's the best. He's doing fantastic. But I did notice Craig had a hat on is the reason he spoke a little longer. He's uh, warmer than the rest of you out in the audience. But uh, I just want, I'm going to invite to the podium our special guest uh, today, uh, Green Power. Uh, as you know, we've talked about why West Virginia is such a great business climate, how uh, they went through an extensive surge, and we won. West Virginia won. But it's also the transition, as the uh, speaker talked about, to a electrification of the transportation network. And this is the product. There are 480,000 school buses operating in America. Over 26 million children are transported daily on those buses. This will be the product uh, as we be transition into the electrification of this network. And uh, I'm so pleased to welcome to the podium my good friend, our new corporate citizen, someone you're going to really get to know and to like, our friend, Brendan Ryan. And thank you, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Uh, President, and Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Speaker, and uh, Chief of Staff. Uh, First Green Power Motor would like to send our condolences uh, to the state for uh, the illness of uh, Mr. Justice. We hope and pray that uh, Governor Justice gets well very quickly. But folks, we want to know, we want you to know from Green Power that we couldn't be happier. If someone asked me, uh, you know, why did you guys pick West Virginia? Right here, you just heard it. This state is growing. It's, uh, it's a state that has a lot of dependency on energy and electricity is an energy. Our vehicles run on clean energy. Uh, our goal in this state is to have 900 employees working here contributing to green power, of course, but, but more importantly, being part of the new economy where electrified transportation is really a solution. It's not just an environmental solution, it's a, it's a health solution. Children riding on these buses every day, they're exposed to all kinds of pollutants in diesel vehicles, and they're not exposed to nearly the same amount in an EV. It's just a lot cleaner and safer, it helps kids get to school uh, in a more healthy way, a safer way, and a more sustainable way. And we just can't tell you how excited we are to start setting our foundation here in West Virginia, building a new future for green power, a bigger and better future for green power, and hopefully hand in hand with the folks of West Virginia moving into the 21st and 22nd century. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much, and uh, so uh, Green Power will be around all afternoon. Uh, you're free to tour these uh, products. Uh, there are three products, all produced by Green Power. Uh, I think they could probably arrange even some rides and so forth, and I can, I've been a, had the privilege of doing so, and I would sincerely recommend it to you. It is an enlightening experience. They have several representatives here today, but uh, that concludes the first phase of our announcements today. <laughs> And so uh, we're so pleased uh, that you were able to come out, and thank you so much uh, for being here. Welcome to West Virginia.